Problem is, that's outrageous. It can just basically fire back over its head if it wants to. Where'd the other one go. Come on back here, punk. Ah, don't hit the Solomon. Or Solace. Whatever. Where'd you go? Fuck you. Well, that does make for really cool action shots. Kill the gattle. My screensaver came up again. Congratulations. You shot yourself. Where'd that Rick Don go? Nope. Wow, how did you survive? Direct shot. Where's that other one at? Did you run away? Another gaddle. Not anymore, it's not. The only reason you survived that. Nope, I didn't want to fight that. So long. Now those are the defend missions I like better. Not the timed ones, but the ones where you can actually tell how much or how many enemy forces can be remaining until you win. Ooh, my accuracy was atrocious. Probably the Vulcan cannon was not the best of ideas if I wanted to keep that going. Message from General Rebel. I am sending a mobile suit to you now. It is a new model made in Jaburo. Use it well. Probably a gym? Yep, space gym, which is actually kind of handy. Yep, I didn't receive that much damage, but it instantly goes out of commission. So, let's see here. Probably, yep, four star. It's not bad. We'll go ahead and give our partner the, uh, we'll give you a two star to use. Yeah, the solar system le uh, weapon level. This one, it's interesting, and it's going to make quite a few reappearances, especially in the sequel game, uh, Gundam vs. Zeta. Actually, a lot of these stages come back. It's surprising, actually, how many of them actually uh, show up again. <laughs> nope. Try again. Nope. Try again. Gotta love that Vulcan, it comes in handy. Much better. We got another Zaku up the top. He's gone. Not too shabby. That's one thing I was kind of disappointed about with um, some other uh, Gundam series, uh, Seed, Seed Destiny, is that they were really big rehashes of the original Gundam and Zeta. And they used quite a few of the same ploys that Gundam did. And I know that it was basically just trying to bring the original Gundam story back into you know the limelight, but with updated graphics, a new story, all that kind of crap. But it still got really, really boring, really quick. I mean, in in the original C, the episodes up to like number 10 were following the story of uh, the original Mobile Suit Gundam almost verbatim. Ugh. Come on, less talking, more shooting. Zaku's running away. Almost. Nope. We will not duel in that way, friend. Thank you, you want to kill him. Another thing that's annoying about this level is that the solar system weapon tends to hinder your shots more so than the enemies. Nice. The solar system weapon itself is just basically a giant focused light cannon, basically. Ugh! Should have seen that coming. 
Ow! Fucking... Nope, hit my partner with that, my bad. I'm not doing too good. I should probably pay attention to what I'm doing and stop talking so much. Although, if you really start getting hurt, try and use the solar system weapon as a shield just to keep you from getting killed. Your partner is, you know, really doesn't matter if he dies or not. Just try to keep yourself from dying. Which it may be a bit of a chore. Whoa. Okay, there we go. I did not want to fail that mission. Oh, don't you glitch out on me. I thought it was for a second. Every every now and then when you get to the results screen, it decides it just likes to stop the music and doesn't load for a second, and then it pops back up. Hopefully, <laughs> I've seen it do worse. Cool, so we used the solar system, wiped out a good portion of Solomon's defense forces, and we have a red mission. I'm assuming this is a story mission. Yep, Big Zom. This should be fun. This is the newest mobile armor, and a big pain in the ass. Now there's uh, a good way to fight this and a bad way to fight this. The bad way to fight this is to take any mobile suit that's wielding a beam weapon. The good way to fight this is to take any mobile suit that has a solid shell type weapon. And that can, or if you want to go the middle ground, take the gun cannon, because it does have the beam weapon and it does have <coughs> the solid shell cannon attack. We're not going to do that. We're actually going to take the gun tank because all I want to focus on is shells. This thing is practically immune to beam weaponry. And if you follow along with the story, it's because it has a really, really low-tech eye shield. Uh, or eye field generator. And the eye field generator will come or become more important later on in the following series. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of you, Zaku. Just die. Thank you. Don't get too close to this thing. It will absolutely obliterate you. This is a very hard mission. But because it is a very hard mission, you're going to get help. Just you have to wait for a little while. That is Dolzel Zombie piloting that monstrosity. Oof, close to hitting him. Come on, bro. There we go. I recommend just shooting at him from over a long way and just fire away. Another hey, fucking pal, guy. You shoot. It's Kelly Lazner or Slegger Law, not Kelly Lazner. Kelly Lazner is a different guy. Hey, Wrong buddy, series. Take care of him for me. He's in the G fighter right now, and he's about yeah, to die. This is your... Another Zaku. Is he gonna come towards us? Yep. For some reason, the Zaku doesn't like to get involved with any of the Vig Zam's opponents. And there goes Kelly Lazner. Not Kelly Lazner, Slayer Law. God damn. Now Gundam shows up. Gundam will utterly obliterate anything on the field, including Big Zom, given enough time. But it's always nice to help. Dozel's Lobby at this point in time is crazy fox. Yeah, I see you there. Nope. Don't care. Come on up. Nope, you go back down. Come on. And goodbye. The old bait and switch landed right next to you. Like I said, if you're a ways away from Dozel Zabi, he really can't do a whole lot to you. And these enemies here can't do a whole lot either, considering that they have really shitty weapons and this gun tank, a tuned gun tank. He's just utterly obliterated. Oh, no, you don't. Not a good idea to get right next to the gun tank, especially when I have a bead on you. Armora will eventually destroy this thing, but it just goes so much quicker if you do it this way. Nice try, but you missed. And... How can gone. a single mobile suit... Yep, we get it. You know, a good way to tell if you were the one to shoot, kill somebody or not is if your shot and another shot are really close to the actual bad guy. If one of the shots 
goes through the enemy, then that was not the killing shot. The killing shot will always disappear because it hit the hitbox before it disappeared. Otherwise, the game treats it as, you know, non-existent. So that's Big Zom. Uh, the first time I ever did the mission, I took or went at it with Gundam using a beam rifle. That was not fun at all. The, gun tr the grunt troops were easy, but uh, it was not fun. Not fun in the least. Gundam is now back in action. I'm not going to use it, though. Uh, what to use? Wow, the Rickdom is still still out of issue, or out of order. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to use the three-star gem, and... Uh, I don't know, let's see how uh, the AI handles using the gun tank. Please don't kill me, Mr. Gun Tank. I can just see it now, a shot coming out of nowhere, right when I'm about to melee a target. Right into my backside. Oh, nice shooting. Missed. I'll give him this. He's great distraction because he's so friggin' slow. Come on. Three of you, eh? Rick Dom. What else? Come on. Wow, Azaku won, really. I'm surprised there's any left. No, 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 no. You're not just escaping from me now. They, I think they will try to escape. But uh, don't worry if they do. You don't have to worry about, you know, X number of troops getting across the line. It doesn't really matter, because the moment... Ow! Come on, gun tank. Thank you. It doesn't really matter, because you just gotta take that bar down. So, not a big deal. And they'll come at you in waves of three, most likely. As they've been doing now. God damn. Stop moving. Thank you, gun tank. Nope, hit the gun tank. Gun tank obliterated that guy. Not good on the angled shots in the least. Oh, no, you don't. See, he's trying to escape, and he probably will. Nope. Gun tank got him. Good job. It sucks, too, if you've got him down to, like, no health, and they get across that line. Almost. Come on, gun tank. Ooh, shield took that for me. That was an interesting lag. Oh, almost got the double shot. Nice. Oof. I was thinking about dodging that direction. Had I, I would have gotten that dreamed or uh, nightmarish shot in the back. From the gun tank. Oh, for crying out loud. Thank you. Vulcans, for some strange reason, get hit more often than my beam cannon. Or, uh, beam weapon. Yeah. Ooh. Watch where you're aiming, gun tank. Your shots are pretty powerful. And this gym wouldn't stand up to them very well. Nice. I guess I'll take on this one since you've got the other one. Ow. That looked like it hurt. Nice! Gun tank for the win. Although, if it had missed, I, my shot was quick to follow on. Yeah, I didn't do too bad with that thing. That's not bad. Never really used that combination before. I don't think I've actually had two gun tanks at once before. Either I've missed the mission that actually gives them out, or... Maybe I've lost them playing extra mode. I don't know. Space mop up. Destroy the enemy, not lying space. Another enemy battle strength is zero. Gun tank is still in kind of rough shape, but uh, he did pretty good. Let's see what he does this time. See how he manages to pull out of... What kind of tricks he manages to pull out of his hat in 360 space. Yeah. 
Now, if you notice how the reticle changed to like a dotted outline, that means that they're too far to lock on, but they can still be seen. So... Ah, crap. Alright, there's two of them out, but there's Zaku 1, so you're not going to drain the bar as fast as if you were using a, or fighting Zaku 2s or Rick Doms. Oh, no, you don't. That was a clever trick you did there, Mr. Rick Dom. Not clever enough. Vulcans for the win. Ow, double shot. Nope, that sucked. Ugh, that could have been a nice, easy kill had that hit. And that's all she wrote. Now, sometimes you don't have to dodge for missile weapons if you can just keep strafing in one direction. That's one of the reasons I don't like using those types of weapons in 360 space, because they do not target like they do on land. Don't know why, don't really care, they just don't. Alright, you seem to be quite well infatuated with me. Your partner just got showed up. And now I think he likes me. Nice. Although I do wish I had a hack that I could use more weapons with more types of mobile suits, because I don't really see a point to limiting them if you actually look into the one-year war itself. I mean, in the right programming, you could have any mobile suit technically use any weapon as long as you had the reactor requirements. I mean, I'm not saying I'd hack it to the point where I could just use uh, the Gundam's beam cannon, but... Ah, oh, crap. Damn it. Wow. Huh. So Gun Tank wasn't the best of probably allies, but that was my own fault. I got stuck between two, two Rick Doms and locked onto the furthest one, of course. Thank you for that, my lock-on. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to get this mission. I think I'm going to take a break because I'm having trouble actually doing them. Hmm, Gundam's working. Could use Gundam. Hmm, should I use Gundam? Why not? Beam rifle, and will you let you use the gun cannon? If I can't beat this mission using Gundam, even damaged Gundam, then that's pretty sad, and I should put the controller down for the day. Which I think I'll do anyways. I need to get some meat. That did not do as much damage as I was hoping for. It shows that the mobile suits are starting to get tougher. Whoop, no you don't. Alright, there's two of them. Zaku 1 and a Rick Dom. There goes the Zaku 1. And there goes the Rick Dom. Wait for him to stop moving. And hopefully they won't dodge. They ah! Fucking Rick Dom. Oh, watch out. Much easier, although we haven't gotten to the uh, Black Tri-Star wannabes that show up all at once. Damn, that actually almost hit the other Zaku without uh, me locking onto it. You want some, too. Yeah, the Zaku ones still aren't strong enough to withstand a direct hit from... Uh, Gundam's beam rifle. Nope, come on. Either kill him or let me get a good shot at him. Thank you. Alright, anything else? Ah, here comes the annoying Rick Doms. Nice, there's one out of the way. Another one right next to me. Shot for him. Nice. I think the gun cannon followed up with my shot. Because I don't think that was mine. Yep, there's gun cannon. Not too shabby. Much better than last time. Nice evade, right? Although I won't be able to use Gundam for a while unless we get a repair, which I doubt it. Sweet. Solomon is ours. 
A message from General Rebel. Everything's going well. I'm dispatching the supply corps. Speak of the devil. Here's my supply corps. The new type corps? Propaganda. Designed to mask how exhausted they've become. New types are supposedly people who can live without war. They are not psychics. Well, I don't know about that. Captured a Rick Dom. That's nice. Alright, so the battle for Solomon is over with. The battle for the war is not. We have several new missions that have come up. Looks like a uh, story mission here and one for Texas Colony. Whoops. My screensaver came up again. Yep, story mission. Allied Gundam is destroyed, which I don't think I've ever seen Gundam get destroyed in any of these missions. Uh, destroy the Musai, basically. What do we got on Earth? Earth, we have several missions. Battle strength is zero. Great Canyon, or no, Seattle. Battle strength is zero. And then five Medea leave the operation. Well, I think I'm going to take a break now and come back to the second stage of the space war, or space warfare. And I'll see you then. Later, folks.